What you guys got another video here for you. You can now install Windows 11 on older PCs, but with a catch. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. On the update of Windows 11 minimum specs requirements and PC health check app, you can see here they have updated their PC support. They are now allowing 7th gen processors uh, and also allowing the AMD Zen 1 uh, processors, which meet their principles so they're allowing that and added those onto the supported list if you check the windows processor requirements you can see here they've also added some other ones in which is the intel xeon uh, w processors here there's quite a few of them they've added those to the uh, okay list but there's a lot of stuff that they haven't added there and they're still sticking to their pretty tough requirements you can see here also intel core x series Xeon processors, W uh, series, and there's a bunch of other stuff. So the Windows Insider Preview and Health Check app is now working, and you can run it on your PC to see whether your PC is eligible for updates. You can see here you can download the 64-bit version and run this on your PC. I'm running Windows 11 on this system. Been running it for quite a while, had no problems. Actually, I'm quite enjoying the Windows 11 experience. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people that still aren't in the uh, category of being able to roll out an update for Windows 11, but that has changed. Microsoft have said they will not block enthusiasts that want to run Windows 11 by installing it on the system. And we'll talk about that in a second. Now, Microsoft have also released the PC health check tool and it's now working as it was broken before, but it's now working. And this will tell you whether your PC meets the Windows 11 requirements for you to get it the official way which is via the update method when they release it to the general public. You can join the Windows Insider program at the moment and get it that way. And there's also ways of getting the ISO image, which I've showed you in previous videos. You can see here the minimum system requirements is still pretty tough. It still says that you have to have the uh, trusted platform module TPM version 2.0. But does that mean that you can't install it? Well, you've probably seen loads of videos online now showing you how to bypass the trusted platform module uh, version 2.0 checks when you're installing. And uh, people ask me to do videos on it, but there's plenty of other people that have done it. And I really didn't want to do it because I knew there was something in the pipeline from Microsoft. Now, Microsoft have actually been in talks with Porphyro and The Verge and been giving them information about Windows 11. They said they're not lowering the Windows 11 hardware requirements, but they are going to allow enthusiasts to basically use a loophole to install Windows 11. Now, it says here these upgrades will not be officially supported, but those who wish to manually upgrade to Windows 11 can either by keeping it in the Windows Insider program or by manually creating a Windows 11 install media with the media creation tool which will be allowed to do so now of course there's no official statement released by microsoft to say that they are going to be allowing this to happen obviously this is going to be a little loophole that you'll be able to use to be able to install windows 11 and they said that they will not do their checks during the installation process for tpm 2.0 if you do it manually using the media creation tool or you're on the insider program so basically that's what they said there now the problem is without having the official statement from microsoft which means no one knows whether this is going to be acceptable or whether microsoft are going to make a much stronger stance on this on the official release of windows 11 i will say that i did read quite a few articles today which were quite disturbing on saying update into windows 11 on older hardware won't receive updates that's another uh, article I read today which is quite shocking to think that one minute they're going to leave a loophole open for you to install it manually and then on the second hand they are now saying that they're not going to give you updates if they find out that your CPU is not supported or on their supported list. Now these stories have come from reliable sources from people that actually know Microsoft and talk to Microsoft so they do have some sort of credence to them but I will say if the security updates are going to be blocked for people that are using CPUs that are not on that supported list, then that can be quite bad, which means you won't want to be using the loophole to install Windows 11. I think all this will come out in the wash once Microsoft make an official announcement to the general public when Windows 11 is officially released. 
which shouldn't be too much longer now. So to finish off here, I do think the reason why Microsoft are leaving that loophole there and not going to be doing any checks for TPM 2.0 is because they are going to stick to their guns about the Windows 11 specifications and they are going to use that CPU list, compatible list. They're going to be using that as a, as a way of checking whether your PC is supported. And if it's not, and it's not on the supported list, then you're not going to receive security updates. And that in itself is not worth updating to Windows 11 if that is the case. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Let me know in the comments section below if you've got any information on this topic, and I'll be happy to read it. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. A big shout out to all my YouTube members who joined my YouTube members group. I appreciate that support. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.